Okay, so in replacing your ribbon and or labels when they run out or and they you know or if they just need to be changed for whatever reason. We'll start with the ribbon. You open up the print head. Just get a little slack here. Slide this thing out. Slide the ribbon out. You can slide all that off. Yeah. Okay, so here, this is how you, you turn and you depress these right here, the little guides. And when you do that, it allows the it's the slack so you can pull the whole thing out at one time. And that's why we don't tape it to the spinner. That's removing the ribbon. And removing the labels, just like this, meaning that you have your print head open. Just slide this out, and there you go. Now it's now it's totally empty, and, and we're going to do the install. So. All right. So to install, we go put your ribbon in, I mean your uh, labels in, and you'll see that there's a little diagram right here along the dot. There's dotted lines right here, and then you just slide this in right here. Guide it through. That's and push story. back this holder. Yeah. Oh, he's he's already back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the labels. Now for the ribbon. Do you need to tear off the front label there? Yeah. You can. So, with the ribbon, we go, we're going to start new again, break it. If you follow the, the diagram right here, it shows you that it, the, the ribbon will go like this. So you slide it on the spindle. And go underneath your print head. Pull a good portion. Lock it down. Now, some people like to put tape right here, but if you do and you tape it really good, when you go to turn this and uh, loosen these guides, you're not going to be able to slide it off. Putting in the ribbon and label. Perfect. Or your zebra CT. Yeah. Thank okay. you very much, Lucy.